Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie Bitches. Bitches Sharktober Mini Edition. Mostly just one that we kind of had to talk about, and uh, we'll get into it. One, but one that I f uh, you, forced Andrew to talk about. That is correct. That is accurate. But first things first. Shout out to our Patreon supporters. Five dollars a month gets you early access. Ten dollars gets you access to our viewing parties. Second thing, second, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Go to trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get $22 off your first Shark of Movie. Nope, nope. First box of wine. Shark of Movie. Shark of Movie. Oh my gosh. Third thing, third. Now. Yeah. Um, a subscription box. Of that Shark Movie? purely sent you. Shark whether repellent? it's digital. Hand me down the Shark Repellent Bat Spray. Whether it's digital or, or or physical media, just a shark movie. Month. Curated shark movies. <clears throat> Rick, I think yeah, that, this is a business this, plan for you. We're gonna take this on Shark Tank. It's gonna come full circle, <laughs> and I say yay. <laughs> I do remember <laughs> specifically being named a shark movie expert and being very proud of myself. <laughs> this is where you insert like a photo of my credentials that I showed you of just like the stack of DVDs of horrible movies I bought. Third thing, third, yes. shout out to Rick, but also subscribe. Always. Oh, oh, by the way, oh, yes. this shirt and many others are available at moviebitches.threadlist.com. And I have to say, this is one of my very favorites. It's a great new one. It's I'm very excited really, about it. It's quite a statement, let's yes. say, when yes. you wear it out in public. Where are you taking me? Classic shark one. Classic. My Our flaming shark. So many great options. So go to moviebitches.threadlist.com. And make sure to subscribe, share, oh, yes. oh, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and... And check out Rick's Redbubble page. Yeah. Lots of We really don't designs. thank you enough, Rick. No. And I think a shark, a mini shark review is the perfect, perfect place, place to, to, to share that with <laughs> that you. Is, so yes, yes. Yes. Our resident shark expert. We really should have phoned a friend. Oh my God. He hasn't watched it. He hasn't watched it. Yeah. Mm. I don't know anything about right. sharks. I just know about really sad direct to DVD situations. So I watched another less than successful mm. horror movie on Shudder. A month wouldn't go by without a couple of terrible fucking shark movies coming yes. out. I watched two. Well, I turned one off. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I wish I had turned the other one off. No, we will talk about it. We will talk about it. So I watched... Uh, this seemed this seemed perfect right up our alley. It was called The Reef, colon, Stocked. Oh. Where so, are you taking me? Where are you taking me, Shark? Why are you so, so obsessed, obsessed with, with me? me, Shark? I turned it off. Oh. It was bad. It was like four girls. Oh, no, it was five to start with. And one of them gets murdered by her boyfriend. And, oh. and you're just like, oh, my God. And it's her sister, and she's sad about it. And then they're going to go on, like, a canoeing trip to... To, to mourn, to process their trauma. Process, to process the trauma. Trauma. None of them are wearing hats. They are going on like a four day long ocean kayaking trip. Not a one hat in sight. Ocean kayak? How do you kayak in the ocean for four days? They, they like stop. Oh, okay. you know, and then, like you know. up like the Puget Sound or some bullshit or whatever. No, it was in Australia? Oh, okay. Question mark? Up the Gold Coast. Up the Gold Coast, up the Sunshine Coast. I don't know. It was. Not in America. Okay, I great. think it was Australia. Sure. And uh, that was too unbelievable for me. And then it was real boring. And the shark was getting them. She so skip that one. Skip, skip that one. It, did, it was not good. It was I not feel good. like we should talk about like the shark movie-ness of it all. Where I feel like they've run out of ideas for sharks. And they're now extending the shark movie tropes to... Like there was... Beast. It's like Idris Elba, and it's just like lions. Oh, oh it's a lion. That's a, it's a shark movie, but the shark is a lion in in you Africa know, on safari. People are processing the trauma, trauma, trauma of uh, well, nature? and then and then there was Fall oh, that boy. came out where it was like, oh, it's a shark movie, but instead of a shark, it's a do you want to hear radio tower? It's a very tall pole. Do you want to hear something terrifying? Okay. This truly shook me. Okay. The so fall, yeah. not to be confused with the fall. No, yeah. Which is great. Not the serial killer show with Jamie Dornan. The Lee Pace, beautiful, like cinematography. Oh my god. Fall. Yeah. Was supposed to be rated R. Was riddled with f bombs. They used auto mouth CGI technology. No. 
to remove all of the curse words. <laughs> no. Isn't that terrifying? I'm upset. That was scarier than anything that was in the reef stocked. Or probably in Or they fall. slash them. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Isn't that a nightmare yeah, escape? That is. Yeah, that is. Did you see that thing going around that was like, they like face-tuned, I don't really know what it's called, but they like face-tuned Willem Dafoe's face yes, into onto Julie pretty Roberts woman. for Pretty Woman? I was like, we're living in hell. Yes. This is a nightmare. Yes. Just leave it all up. I'm still... Uncanny hmm. Valley? I don't know. I'm still like, you know, Skynet's happening and yes. the machines are going to rise and um, yep. actors will become obsolete because we just have all of their faces in yeah, computers. Um, yeah. I'm scared. They need uh, to bring the net back. Maybe Alex Garland should make a movie about that instead of Men, which was apparently terrible. Oh, it looked terrible. It looked interesting and then no. I read about it and it seemed terrible. The trailer did not look interesting to me. Oh, right, the fall, the yeah, fall, fall looked fall. very stupid. But yeah. from the producers of 47 meters down, it's now 400 meters up. So dumb. So dumb. Let's climb this really tall thing and try not to fall. And process our emotional trauma about our boyfriend who died climbing a tall thing. And fell. This is what trauma looks like. Speaking of, trauma. 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 I think sharks, shark movies are the new slasher movies, sure. right? Yeah. Basically. Yeah, because you can easily get away. Oh, it's the, the shark is the slasher. Everyone knows it, but you're still going to watch it. Because, you know, Michael Myers and Jason are both sort of like soulless, never stopping killing machines, which are sharks. You sure. Know? So. Yeah. Um, so, Maneater. Oh, my God. I'm so excited to talk about Maneater. This movie was a, a sci-fi original film. Sure. But it felt personal. Yeah. There was some choices that were made. I would say, if you know what you're in for and you like shark movies that are stupid. What did, did, did our resident shark expert Rick watch it? He did not. Okay. I told him about it. Okay. He did not watch it. I would it. be interested to see his opinion. Well, I have now seen it and I will try to stay positive. I enjoyed that it was under 90 minutes. I liked the score by the YouTube Free Music Library. Um, I thought it was inspired to not just steal from Jaws like these movies usually do, but also take a lot from The Shallows. That was at least an original new twist in ripping off shark movies. I would say watch the first couple of seconds just to see the insane amount of production companies, then watch the insane ending where they try to set up a cinematic universe with that Alicia Silverstone movie, and then turn it off and go watch The Shallows. Cheers. I did not care for this movie. I wanted to turn it off at several points. I laughed twice, and I mostly was bored. Oh no! I'm sorry to say. I do think, yes, your tolerance for shark films is much lower than my uh, well, tolerance Well, I think it's been dwindling. Films. I think Sharktober, although I had a lot of fun with them, it's actually, those weren't the ones that ruined me. Mm. It was like the Alicia Silver, Silverstone one. But that one was so wild. <laughs> It was so wild. But was it worth it? I think so. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I'd rather watch a terrible shark movie than like a boring drama. I'd rather watch this than Elvis. I would turn both of them off, to be honest, at this point. <laughs> so, Maneater, 2022, starring blonde white lady with trauma. They made a movie about female trauma. <laughs> who is then traumatized by shark. Trauma. Classic formula. And Shane West. Oh my God. We <laughs> sail into the sunset within hours. Everything went smoothly? Smooth enough. Oh, my memory is pretty amazing if I do say so myself. Oh my God. Okay. Read his name in the credits and said, oh my God. Immediately forgot about it. Me too. It was an hour into the movie when I went, oh my God, that's Shane West. Uh, looks like someone Went out to play a little game of hide the sausage. Like it didn't compute. I couldn't fathom it. And then there he was. 
And I was like, oh my God, what oh is my. Shane West doing in this movie? What? Jeff Fahey shows up as shark expert. Carcharodon carcarius, otherwise known as the Great White, the most feared predator in the ocean outside the Orca. He's a character actor. Great. He's in the original Lawnmower Man and various other things. Great. He's in Body Parts, which is this terrible horror movie where his arms and legs are replaced with a serial killer's and oh, so then they take over. They've got a, a. They have to kill. They have a bloodlust. Kill. They have a bloodlust. I got the bloodlust. Me too. I want to kill. 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 Oh my god. Ah, uh, and you wear, I think he wears a lot of chunky turtlenecks oh from my memory. But anyway, also. Yeah. Starring. I don't know. Okay, so who's the who's the lead? Who's the star of this movie? Because I think it. It wavers. Between her and him. Between the... her, between blonde white lady with trauma and Trace Atkins. Right. Country music sensation, Trace Atkins, who, who also act. produced this movie. Yeah. It seems like a real passion project somehow. But why? I don't know. I've done a couple of Westerns with Justin and he talked to me, he said, man, I'm doing a shark movie and I just want you to come. I said, where are you shooting? And he said, Hawaii. I said, okay, let's go. I don't know much about Trace Atkins, but I do know that we have to talk about his hair. Sure. <laughs> so it's very long. Yeah. But then sometimes it's gone. And I know it seems like it's just up in his hat, but the back of it really seems shaved and short. Like he, were you having this too? Every time he put on a, a baseball cap, it was as if his hair was short. And I know what you're saying. Okay, he wrapped it up and he did a little thing. But when you saw it in the back, it really looked like he cut it off. So, okay, so first, right, we meet him. Long hair. Hi, daughter. Get ready to go get eaten. <laughs> this was um, so bizarre. Get, get ready to get eaten by a shark. He's like, okay, have a good day, honey. Be safe. Turns to look as if to say, this I'm is the last go. time I'm ever going to see her. Stares at camera. Well, you so know, bizarre. he was right because she is unceremoniously killed by a shark. Yep. And the next time we see him, mm -hmm. he's at the police station. What are you doing about my daughter that got killed by a shark? Rawr, 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 sheriff, you should be blah, blah, blah. And it, and it seems like his hair is short. So I said, oh, did he cut off his hair? As like, a, oh my gosh, I'm right, I need in, to process my trauma. I'm in mourning and I'm, I'm making a big change. Yeah. But then the next scene, long back, hair again. Back going here. But then when he's wearing a cowboy hat, it's long. It's only when the baseball hat's so on. It's, it's probably that it's short. Pickups. Do you think that's what happened? That would be my guess. Oh my god. And they tried to make it work. You know what, you're right. Wow. We <laughs> we still needed you for pickup shots. Oh no. Wow. Yeah. I, okay. That, that would be my guess. That, I didn't even that, notice it, which is crazy. But I honestly, whenever he was on, I was pretty bored. He was so bad. He was a terrible actor. Terrible actor. I mean, most everyone in this movie was a terrible actor. Oh, yeah. My daughter was eaten alive by a fucking fish. It's funny how all of these shark movies start as, and, and, and I would say um, production-wise, funding and everything, start as tourist enticing um, travel videos, yes. right? Come to Hawaii, it's beautiful. Except you might get eaten by a, a fucking shark. shark. And so it seems weird that they would give them money. Oh, I don't think they did. You think they tourism gave them money? Board. I don't know because they're always like with the Rakhwa. It yeah. was like, come to the- That's um, true, oh like Cambodia. Cambodia or Vietnam or whatever it was, you know, and it was just like, look at all the things you can do in this beautiful hotel. And That's it was true. Like, but you might get killed by a shark. It's strange. Isn't that strange? Yeah. That's like never give Naomi Watts any money to go to your, you know, tropical vacation place. Never do it. You know that movie is going to paint a bleak picture. So, yes. Yeah, so we're introduced to blonde white lady who... Got dumped by her fiancé? Was left at the altar? I, unclear. If I had to stay at home one more day, I think I would have killed myself. Oh, girl. Fuck that. When we get home, you sell that son of a bitch. <laughs> I can't do that. I gotta give it back. Says, fuck him. He broke your heart. Um, Poor storytelling. Come on, girl. You gotta. Wait, this was supposed to be your honeymoon, but instead, we're your friends that came with you. Now, I have a question. You go on more um, planned vacations than I do. Sure. 
Is this a thing? We've paid you to have our honeymoon on your boat with two people. Surprise, actually, we're bringing six. No. That's not a thing, right? I really just thought it was supposed to be the two of you. Uh, it was supposed to be the two of us, but sometimes things don't work out that way, so... I'm so sorry. I thought there were only going to be two of you. There's six of you? Five of you? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. It's a boat. Fuel, food. So many supplies. Apply. They would what? be like in a kerfuffle. Like, right? oh Whoa. my God, what do you mean? Also, like, okay, we have to charge you now more money. Like, you can't just, what? No, very bizarre. Okay, I thought that was so strange. So yes, she's um, processing her emotional trauma. Trauma. <laughs> and her friends have decided to go on her honeymoon vacation with her. Yep, a la Sex in the City. Yes, the pudding. Of course. No! Yeah, the pudding. That was when she Poughkeepsie'd in her pants. Yep. <laughs> Poor Kristen Davis. <laughs> you know. She's a trooper you or know, something. She should have gotten more work as a character comedian. As a facial expressionist, yeah. Um, something like that. Anyway. I hate your shoe. I hate your shirt. I hate your beard. I hate your hat. I like your honesty. You want to know why? Because my wife makes me wear it. She says it's good for business. You want to know more of the story? Don't get married. We meet the captain of said boat, yep. Captain Wally. Poor man's Oscar Isaac. Who I'm convinced may be a sociopath of some sort. What? He never blinks. And his wife was so weird. They kept making, I didn't know what the relationship was. They kept making strange comments. Yep. Hi. Well, okay, hi, how are you? I'm Wally. This is my hat. This is my uh, Beth. About how they were together or not? We're not, and she's into you, but oh, like, oh I don't this ball know. and chain. Uh, yeah. Captain Wally, right down to the nitty gritty, huh? Calm your hormones, Bree. The man okay. is taken. She's I'm right saying, here. I'm just I didn't saying. mean anything. But then, why on earth? Okay, so they've just met. Mm -hmm. She's been, I don't know, left at the altar, emotionally crushed. He's like, I'm gonna give you deep wisdom. He's of... like, I know we just met, and you're paying me to. Like for a, for a service, for, yeah. but like, let's talk about this and flirt. So, uh, you got your heart broken, huh? Yeah, you can say that. <clears throat> hey, Niels, don't worry, you'll find someone new. Yeah, that's what they keep telling me. Was it flirting? I mean, I know they told us it was, but I just didn't I see didn't it. know, but later they, they sort said, of oh, were. we really had a thing, and oh, she's into him, oh. So that girl's fond of you. Uh, she's hurting us all. We've been there before, Beth. Her heart's broken. She's just out of so an engagement. So either he's the creep bag. Right. Or and or she, like, we're supposed to believe that she's, like, oh, all of a sudden she's into this captain, pilot? No. And the music was all wistfully nostalgic? The music was so bizarre. It was so weird. It was very Dante's Cove. Very bad. So is uh, Beth your wife? Well, she keeps me in line from time to time, I guess. It was very, these are the tracks we have available. Yes. Rights free. Put them somewhere. Yep. Um, and I was like, why not Trace Atkins? Why not, like, because you know, you know people that he could... Because he produced it. What does that mean? Right. I'm still not over the haircut. I'm still... <laughs> let it go. Okay, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. Big question. Yeah. How hard did you laugh? when they're going around, they're all sitting around, and they're saying, what do you do for a living? What are your names and occupations? And she, an adult 40-year-old woman. Uh, pre-med. How'd you Got know? Got it. <laughs> what? No, you have that doctor look about you. And I met Brie and Emma in college. Claims that when, when. Oh, she's in med school? That she, okay, fine. Late start, whatever. That was not what the movie was implying. Sh their friend group yeah. is ranging from 20-somethings to 40-somethings. And they're, I didn't know what this was. Wasn't this wild? Apparently, Will still thinks we're all 21. Yeah, yeah. I'm still clinging to my youth over here, okay? It you... was a, a bit weird. I mean, I was going to laugh about the, the old of it all. What oh. are you, what's your no, name that's and what occupation? I'm what's your name and occupation? I mean, it was very old. <laughs> I'm a lawyer. Litigation. I work in real estate. Oh, well, I'm a lawyer. I'm a doctor. 
When it was implied that she was the same age as those 20 year old friends, I laughed so but hard. Who was 20? The Catherine Hahn lady and the other one, the two young ones. Yeah, yeah. That were early 20s. I guess so. She wasn't that old, was she? I mean, she was older. Look, she looked great. I'm not saying that. Sure. But it was just so wild that they were it. like, we've been friends forever, all of these things. The age groups was, it was wild because we got Shane West. Yeah. And then we got the young guy yeah. who's an idiot. Shotgun. No, wait, that's not a good oh. Shit. In, the, in the, one of the funniest scenes in the movie, when he stabbed himself. Oh, that was the dumbest thing. I, okay. I, they deserve to die. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that's what I mean where it was like, it would What? <laughs> It would make more sense if it was like three young people that were also booked on said trip. Sure. And then her oh, and right. her best friend and Shane West, who, you know, flirty, flirty, like maybe. Like death on the Nile of it all, where it's you know, like, ooh, we were all together. We never quite got together, but we're friends, but whatever. Sure. We've got like a kind of, and now yeah. she's broken up and yeah. like put that dynamic in there. And then there's these three idiots who sure. can die. Sure. But the fact that they made it like all six of us decided to fly to we're Hawaii. All, yeah, to and we're support all... our friend, and now we're all gonna die for her. It was a lot. It was so much. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so then oh he God. gets the blood into the water. <gasps> because it's a man eater out there. We're an ecological marine system that thrives off of blood in the water. One drop of blood is going to attract small fish, but it's gonna attract some even larger fish. I don't want to freak you guys out. Just do me a favor and keep him out of the water. Oh my God, we live in an ecosystem where one drop of blood can destroy it. I'm like, that's not true. This vacation seemed awful. Awful. Terrible. You're not sleeping on the boat. You're sleeping on the beach. Oh. Aren't we on vacation? Wet we've... bathing suits and sleeping bags no, with a cooler. Not. No, we've chartered a catamaran, but none of you are going to sleep on the boat because probably it's not big enough. Because you brought six people when you had booked <laughs> it for two. <laughs> but also, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and say this. I don't think my idea of a lovely honeymoon would be sharing a catamaran with two strangers that are my captain. Who's a creep who never blinks and is flirting with me. No thanks. I'm good. Have you always been out here living the pirate life? Ah, uh, if only I wish I was a pirate. No, I, uh, I grew up in Minnesota. All of it's weird. Can we talk about the random scene? scene? Where people that we do not know. Are cliff jumping. When it was um, tourism footage. Good times, yeah. we don't have a and then a yeah. shark yes. happened. Into oh crystal clear water, oh mind you. God. Crystal I clear so water. This was shark attack three level. <laughs> <laughs> the, the special effects were so god awfully <laughs> terrible. All of the kills were so anticlimactically just like, gah, gah, gah. Oh, and then uh. they died. Bullet, you need to come now. <laughs> I think we saw the bad CGI shark mouth. Nom nom nom. Blood. No. <laughs> it was so awful. It was truly terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I laughed so hard though. Please. <laughs> Wave. Gah! Yum. <laughs> that we never see again. And presumably the two people that didn't get eaten by the shark would report their friend missing and say, a fucking shark jumped. I mean, what happened to them? We never see them again, ever. Also, where did that wave, that wave like didn't make any sense? The perspective. It was all. <laughs> The size, the trajectory, the physics of the shot. <laughs> I did think uh, youngest, the younger girl with the long hair, I don't know their names. Oh no. One of them was giving me some Katherine Hahn vibes. <laughs> okay. Okay. And okay. was doing all of the mugging for yeah. the camera. Mm -hmm. It's actually smaller than I no. thought. No. No. Harmless mostly. Ooh. Should oh, be okay. more of that coming. Mm -mm. There they are. So cool. Did you notice? Uh, she the was one good. that she ties the good. thing around her. Well, get it, get it, get it. Oh, when I have you. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> 
That I mean, was so stupid. So fucking stupid. But that actress. When I say Paul, and she's just like, ah, uh, what? What? Um, what? Insane. Um, that actress. Yeah. I'm just I'm putting it out there. She was doing a lot. Sure. Maybe there's there's some potential. And I enjoyed it. Okay, great. There was a lot happening. I can see that. Oh my god. Why must it be so bright? There was a lot happening. It was better than her other young friend who went skinny dipping, but just bottomless. I think that was so weird. Wasn't that strange? Yeah, I was like, oh, what's this? I mean, I, I get it. The actress was probably like, absolutely not for, for, right. for, um, right. I mean, for I man eater. I will um, pretend to take my bottoms <laughs> exactly. off. Exactly. I will absolutely I will not show you my tits. I some panties in my hand. I get it. Yeah. But in the context of the movie, I was like, she could have just gone in with the bathing suit. That was a strange choice. He was so weird where he's just like, what? The big dumb Skinny idiot? dipping? Oh. Yeah. I'm telling you, he was like frat bro, yeah. dummy, yeah. completely wrong age group. Like, it it didn't make any sense. No. It made zero he sense. He was kind of Joey-ish from yes. Friends. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. It did, they did not belong on the same vacation. It's Through idiocy, all of these people are stranded on this island where really if they just sort of stayed there, right. they, they'd be okay. At least for a few days. They've got... Most of the supplies, but no. Then they had like a flare gun, and like they could have. They had you food, know, you know. And a radio that sort of contacted outside people, I guess. Maybe just wait. Well, so he was on the boat. He could have radioed for help and said, "Hey, our captain and his wife have oh gone god. missing." Yes, but then he decided to get back into the water. Well, right. A mistake. Oh my god! But the captain's death. Oh, oh my god! Wally, Wally, Wally! <laughs> get out of there, quick! Oh my god! <laughs> Wally! Wally! Wally, you need to come now! Ah! Oh, and then she falls and in. And then she falls in and gets strangled, but not really. That's not how she dies. Oh my god. I'm when so confused by that her. CGI, when Trace Atkins found the captain's body. It was embarrassing. Embarrassing. Really, truly. True. Well, yes, because Trace Atkins is then on a mission. Shark hunter, bounty to, hunter. Um, he's got guns. Yep. And he's going to go fire them at the shark. Shark hunting. <laughs> going fishing, Sheriff. Fishing with a goddamn rifle? There's a rogue shark out there. So I guess I'm going to have to go out there and remind that goddamn fish exactly where he is on the fucking food chain. I think that's what happens. <laughs> I was like, this is the, you're shooting into the ocean. I don't know how much this is really going to do. Like, he's, he's set up like he's some kind of fisherman, so you'd think at least he would have some kind of, like... Like, a spear gun, a or... A harpoon, or... Uh, yeah, you know, exactly. have, like, a Moby Dick, like, you know, yeah. kind of... Oh, this is his Ahab, yeah. or whatever. That's the opposite. He's Ahab. Yeah. This is his Moby Dick. His Moby Dick, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how that works. Um, meanwhile, blonde ladies' friends are getting picked off one by, by one in more hilarious happenstance after another. Really. I really, did you think that Shane West was gonna make it? I mean, he was the only one that didn't die immediately. Immediately. So I but, thought maybe. Man, oh my God. But then the, his death was just, oh, he died. I, right, it was, I, I didn't know that he was dead until she was, <laughs> she was like, like, I'm the only one that survived. I was, I was like, like, wait, oh. what happened? I mean, when I saw his back, I was like, oh, he's not making it. But Yeah, that was, um, that looked good. Like, yeah, it was pretty gross. Yeah, it was pretty gross. You know? It's yeah. Like, yeah, that was all right. I, this movie was terrible. Was, I mean, I know you knew that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, there was just so many crazy things that happened that were so dumb. I mean, I know we always say this, but like, the shark is in the shallowest, the shallowest of, of waters. waters, and it is enormous. Yeah. It just doesn't make any sense. sense, you know. Oh, we can't bring the catamaran, which are not typically very low hulled, right? Right. That's, you know, through there because of the reef. But the shark. But can... the sh giant ass shark. No problem. Not a problem. Well, because then, well, once they end, I mean, I don't know what happened. I'm not sure. I have so no idea. Everyone's dead. Blonde lady is like, 
Oh my God! Is Someone anybody radio, out there? Help me. Someone should have done that first, by the way. Trace Atkins is like, "Hey, girlfriend. Hey, kid. I got you. I'm coming to get you." Pulls up, but then he's like, "I can't take you." Because the my... shark keeps hitting my boat, or has been hitting. We never saw it. I've taken you on my boat, but I don't know if it can take much more from that thing. So I don't I... think it could take the two of us or any more damage. So I'm gonna leave. But then she says, "I mean." This is when the dialogue started to get real good. Fucking monster. It's not a monster. It's the devil. Devils don't bleed. It's just a fish. The like, devil don't bleed. It's just a fish. It's just a fish. <laughs> <laughs> now this, I think, is going to go down in history. Um, it seems that the shark killed all my friends. So before I go home, I'd like to see it fucking dead. She read it pretty much with that <laughs> level of commitment. It was, yeah. Well, it seems that shark killed all of my friends. So if you don't mind, sir, before I go home, I'd like to see that thing fucking dead. She was so blasé. And yet she also kind of sounded like Olivia Newton-John in Greece. Okay. You know what I mean? I'd she have had to that like, kind of like Danny Australian-ish. I wouldn't be surprised if she was Australian. Yeah. So she's like, everyone's dead. And he's like, oh, hey, little darling. And she goes, yeah, it was supposed to be my honeymoon. And then she does like a coy little like neat like smile. And I was like, all of your friends are, are dead. dead. It's on vacation, huh? It's supposed to be my honeymoon. Sorry about that. You have been left at the altar. Your friends are murdered by a shark. Right. What's going on? She didn't work through. This was a different in that she didn't then have. Well, well, she didn't save herself. And well, she kind of. I mean, what was the plan? What was the so? So there's some sort of current. So he circles around the perimeter and then comes back to the center. And some sort of valley. Valley. And that's where he goes down. Can't get over that reef. When he goes under there in the center, that has to mean some dip in the sand there. So that's where we kill him. That's the kill hole. And oh, it dips down. It when has it goes... to circle something so that she has just enough time to lure it. You said that it dips right here and then it goes down before it gets to the dip, right? Yeah. So we need him to swim across there to make a straight attack. Shoot she went out the... to a thing and then jumped she... off to to swim really fast. Just to the boat. Swim, girl, swim. Swim, girl. Swim. She ducks under the hull. It seemed like a terrible plan. Why wouldn't the At shark this just point, go under the hull? I thought she was had a death wish. Right? At this point, I was like, so she just wants I mean, to I don't die blame because, her. like, girl, I don't know if you can get Survivor's recover guilt. from this. This is rough. Yeah. But this scene in the ambulance. Whoa. Oh my god. Whoa. If you would like to talk to somebody. Nonsense. She just needs some good company and a good meal. So they're all in like shock blankets, recovery mode, and they're like, oh, are you okay? Oh my gosh. And Trace Adkins, I mean, this was insane. This was truly insane. She doesn't need help. She just needs a good meal and some good company. <laughs> what? That's no. Five of her friends were just viciously mauled and attacked and murdered by a and, shark. You know, her only romantic uh, prospect, Captain Wally. <laughs> Also murdered. Murdered. Don't think hard to find people to stick by you during terminal waters, right? Don't mind. I'm, I'm a sea captain. <laughs> Take every chance I get. She definitely needs counseling. No, all she needs is some blueberry pancakes. My daughter like blueberry pancakes. Suddenly, mm. all they said was blueberry pancakes. <laughs> My daughter. She liked blueberry pancakes. You like blueberry pancakes? I do like blueberry pancakes. Let's get out of this cop shop and get some blueberry pancakes. <laughs> I do love blueberry, like blueberry pancakes. Pan I do love blueberry. <laughs> my daughter loved blueberry pancakes. Let's go get some blueberry pancakes. This is when it really started feeling like a sci-fi original movie, where it's just like, this is just nonsense at this point. Like, this is just wild nonsense. <laughs> this is the, the AI computer just was like, blurp. Insert blueberry pancakes. Blueberry pancakes. Because at this point, you're like, okay, I guess Trace Atkins is the star of this movie. I'm, sure. I'm not totally sure what's going on, but this oh. it seemed to be an end credit scene, but it happened before the credits. I don't know what this was. So he's mourning the loss of his daughter and he's saved 
the blonde lady. She's no longer. We never. She's never. We never see her again. I mean, they have pancakes. Blueberry pancakes. I oh, I, I wish we had seen them eat pancakes. Right. Pancakes. Actually. Honestly. Honestly. Yeah. Oh, uh, and then just it pulls out, and the credits start rolling, and yeah. some cheesy '90s ballad is playing. Or she's a man to make you work hard, make you spend. They couldn't hard. afford it. No, they could not afford it. <laughs> Blueberry pancakes. This scene was so strange. Jeff Fahey shows up again, shark expert. Yep. No, I wouldn't do that to you, you know that. I think he wanted a vacation to Hawaii. I'm Good for him. Good for you, Jeff Fahey, you cashed that check. <laughs> he shows up he again. He probably just got a coupon to oh, stay at the resort. Oh, no. Oh, maybe. You know, like, yeah. he was like, do you want a free vacation and you work for two days? Yeah, great. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Can I bring my kids? Great. Great. Kids will be at the pool, I'll spend about four hours doing these scenes, and then we're great. Yeah. But yes, Trace Atkins is contemplating, know, contemplating life, life, looking and, out into the ocean. And the, and Jeff Fahey shows up with this random man we've never met. Who's also a terrible actor. God awful actor. My family and I own a small business in Southeast Asia, in the islands, a vacation getaway to be exact. And in a scene that goes on. Ten so <laughs> long. long because it seems to have so much more gravitas than it warrants yep two other tourists were vacationing at our property they were also killed i believe all three of them were killed by a shark but it seems like they are sh setting up a shark cinematic universe yes. you want me to kill another big fish where trace adkins will now travel to foreign shark place hunter. to foreign location to get free vacation yep. to shoot shark with gun. The spirit coming back for vengeance. Well, that's just fucking stupid. That seems <laughs> to be what's happening. <laughs> yep. And I was like, this doesn't make any sense. No. Any sense. Oh, well, a shark ate my daughter and the police aren't doing anything about it, so I thought you could come to right. Asia. There's a big bad shark terrorizing our small town. Is and this like megalodon type? Like what is going and on? You're the only one, you know, you're the shark hunter, hunter now, so you have to come and and what? This fish took down a boat. Yes, sir. We're gonna need a bigger one. Why is this happening? But I will say, yeah. if they make another one where Trace Atkins is now in different foreign location fighting shark with gun, I'll watch it. Does she join him? Oh, no. For she's, pancakes? No, no. He will save other blonde white woman from trauma. Trauma. And talk of strawberry pancakes or oh, yeah. Yeah. raspberry pancakes okay. or chocolate, chocolate chip, chip pancakes. Banana pancakes. Yeah. You know, it Ooh, will be macadamia a, nut pancakes. Oh, now that's a missed opportunity right there because Hawaii. anybody can get a blueberry pancake, right. but a macadamia nut pancake, that's that's harder to come by. It's pretty much only in Hawaii. Yeah. I just thought this one had a lot of strange... Strange choices. Choices. <laughs> and writing. And it, strange dialogue. For me, it went by quickly. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that that wasn't the case for you, but I was like, oh, it's over. <laughs> but it was worth it for that, for that cliff diving scene. I laughed very hard. I will say that. <laughs> Very hard. That's my new favorite gif. I mean, it was... <laughs> he thinks he's so safe. It was very 47 meters down of like, ooh, and then we're gonna jump, and then we're gonna find these hidden caves, and then we're gonna take our scuba gear, and then, oh no, but now there's like an ancient shark. That one was crazy. That one was pretty wild. 48 meters down was better. Better. More fun. More fun, yes. There was more going on, more set pieces. Yes. More crazy. Those weird, like, ancient ruin things. Yeah. And, and then, remember there was a big whirlpool? And wasn't, um... Wait, and the last 10 minutes were hilarious. Hilarious. The boat? Oh, my God. She punches And it. what was it from, from Big Fat Greek Wedding? Wasn't he in it as the dad? Doesn't he get, dad, he, d get dead? He does get dead. Yes, he was in it. <laughs> His name is John, John? Corbett. Yes! Pancakes. Blueberry pancakes. Blueberry pancakes. Fuck yeah! 